think talk to your volunteers regularly as a group and maybe away from your garden because while we're all up here we're all tinkering away doing our thing but we have an away day every six months where we sit down and we say this is what I really like this is what frustrates me this is what I'd like to do oh do you know what I've always wanted to open the garden up on the weekend oh have you we never talked about that so having time away from the garden as a group is a good way to uh, to do that go and visit other gardens um, that seems really obvious but actually Sometimes when you're so stuck into your own thing, you, you sort of forget to do that. And there's money available from the Fed to go and visit and, and inspire people. Get new people to come up to your garden. Because actually, uh, when someone comes up for the first time and they'll look around your garden, they'll be like, wow, this is so lovely, this is great. And seeing it through their eyes the first time makes you think, oh yeah, I remember this. And all the things that really annoy you about struggling for money or why somebody always puts that thing in the wrong place or doesn't understand you, you think, oh, do you know what's all worth it? <laughs> My top tips are of keeping a CSA going is making people care. They should care about their food. And caring about your food is caring about where it comes from and caring about supporting the farmer and the grower because food is vital for life. To maintain momentum in general, you need to organise fun and exciting events throughout the year to keep the project alive in people's minds. We, have, we had a wassail this year up in the orchard. It was the most freezing, cold night you've ever had. We had a bonfire and we were marching around the orchard, bashing on saucepans to chase away the evil spirits and bless the apple trees to get us a good crop. The kids were there, we were playing music. It was absolutely fantastic. We went to the pub afterwards. We have an allotment open day, everybody gets involved. We have games for the children, we have a produce store, we have a raffle tea tent, musicians come and play. Celebrations, we had an equinox celebration around the bonfire. Uh, it was the spring equinox. Um, we work with other organisations to bring people to the project. We worked with Halter, the Heart of Wales Travel Association. We were on a railway line here and they had a walk over the viaduct which they brought loads of people in and we escorted them up to the top of Castle Hill where they could have breakfast and then down the path to visit the allotments and that was a fantastic day for the publicity. Um, it's just keeping people informed of all the things you're doing and publicising events and trying to put yourself in, you know, we, we can't, we, we've been on Countrywide with Paul Heine, he came to film here. We were in a book, we're in a book called My Cool Allotments, we've been on ITV Wales News. So you have to keep the momentum going, your publicity is really, really important. <laughs>